A fairly hard slap on the judicial wrist for the Justice Department from a federal judge in Texas. He wants hundreds of DOJ workers to brush up on their ethics. Chief Legal Correspondent Shannon Bream tells us why. It's an extraordinary order. In a scathing opinion and order, federal district judge Andrew Hainan calls Justice Department attorneys defending the administration's unilateral move to block the deportations of millions who are in the U.S. illegally clearly unethical. Outlining the numerous times, Hainan says DOJ attorneys, quote, clearly misled him about when the programs would actually take effect. Quote, the misconduct in this case was intentional, serious, and material. In fact, it is hard to imagine a more serious, more calculated plan of unethical conduct. Hainan spells out the repeated times DOJ attorneys assured him the programs wouldn't start until mid-February, only to admit weeks after a key ruling in the case that during the relevant time period, the administration had granted deferred action, quote, to approximately 100,000 individuals. Hainan's take? The government's lawyers in this case clearly violated their ethical duties. It's very rare, but this is what happens when a federal judge thinks that he has effectively been lied to, when lawyers in the courtroom are not being candid with him, where they're affirmatively misleading him, and that comes through in every page of this extraordinary order. Hainan has ordered the Justice Department to provide a list of the thousands who benefited from the deferred action and mandated that all Justice Department lawyers appearing in any courts in the 26 states who are parties to the case have annual ethics training taught by a, quote, recognized ethics expert who is unaffiliated with the Justice Department. And that's not all. Hainan also ordered Attorney General Loretta Lynch to appoint someone to ensure his order is followed and to report back to him within 60 days about a comprehensive plan to make sure it doesn't happen again. A DOJ spokesperson says only, quote, the department strongly disagrees with the order. That order comes as the Supreme Court is considering the case on the merits, testing how far the administration can or cannot go with respect to unilaterally modifying immigration policy. A decision is expected from the Supreme Court by late June. Brett. Shannon, thank you.